Uh, well, I started on piano a little bit, just but I, I, it was more or less in preparation for the drums, and so the drums came like when I was 12, I think, uh, and um, but I had already, you know, played some piano to just get basic skills together. I don't know how they. I don't know how they did it. Um, they, cause, it, well, my brother is a drummer, so he was 13 years older than me. So I think by that time they were numb, and they just didn't hear it, cause you know, yeah, I was practicing all the time, and it was uh, just upstairs, you know. And I mean, it, it would have drove me crazy, but I think they, after a while, they just didn't hear it, you know, just got used to it, cause my brother had kind of gone through all that stuff, so. It was 13 years later, I think my parents were a little older and they were like, yeah, you know, it's cool, whatever. So they kind of, they just let things go a little, a little, they were more mellow, I guess, about everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I started with a, my brother's teacher, Russ Black, and he was a great kind of traditional teacher. And um, that started in summer, in a special summer program that the schools had. And then by the time school came around, I was kind of ad advanced enough to go to the, instead of the beginning band, I was in the advanced band, you know. And then I just went really strong into that. And yeah, I did all the school music programs, all the, played a lot of orchestral music, went ensemble, marching band, I love marching band. So I did it all, yes. yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, I went to Eastman School of Music and studied classical percussion and kind of got into uh, composition more when I was there. And then I stayed for one more year and did a master's in composition, jazz composition. And so that I didn't do too much, uh, you know, I don't have a degree in a bachelor's degree in jazz education, jazz. Um, but I did a lot of jazz when I was there at school. And, and more importantly, I got, a, I got a really good background in music general music. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, when I actually, well, I, I had a lot of good teachers at Eastman, and, and maybe the best things that they did was they kind of just let me do my thing, like just experiment, and just, I was kind of the weird guy there, and they were cool with that, just, yeah, try, try this and try this, and um, and I went uh, one summer to the Banff um, Jazz Workshop and Muhal Richard Abrams was there. And he was a really big influence. Just actually one, I mean, hanging out with him was an influence, but there was one particular class he gave on composition that was really important to me. And then Bob Brookmeyer also, um, I met him when I was, uh, uh, I think about 14, and I met him again when I was 18 at, at Eastman. And then I took some lessons with him after I left school, and then I, you know, joined his band and everything. So he's been really, really, probably the most important teacher that I've ever had. Um, well, what he did um, that was very memorable is he he drew a uh, he made a dot on the on the chalkboard, and then the whole class was about that dot. And at first, it was like no one really knew what he was talking about, you know. But the idea was that that dot could be anything, and that dot is, is the beginning of a piece. So you could start a piece with a, a dot, it could be a melody, it could be a, a chord, it could be a rhythm, but it could be a poem, or it could be a painting, or it could be uh, a movie, or a book. That dot could be anything. Um, and then he, then he, um, once we got through that part of it, which was really funny because no one knew what he was talking about at first, then he was able to talk about how you could develop that, whatever that is. So um, it's kind of, you know, getting a, a seed or a cell and then really just working on that one cell or seed to create a much bigger piece. And these days, I mean, that's how I teach and that's how I write almost all the time using that method. And Bob Brookmeyer actually talks about a similar thing in a different way, but almost a, a, a similar way of composing, which is very, to me, very organic, as opposed to some people just kind of, well, what I used to do also would be just sit in front of a piano, just wait for some, something to come down from the gods, and then, then just stay there at the piano and repeat it over and over again and try to get some stuff. And that, 
that started to feel really dishonest to me and also I just started coming up with the same stuff and I wanted to let each piece be different. So this is a method that I can use to help, me, help make each piece different. Well, I think music is just, you know, a gift. It's one of those things, like one of those extra things um, that, that everyone should, should, should have a little bit of uh, exposure to. And, and music education is how you can do it. You can just get everyone a little bit educated on what is music, what are the elements of music, and actually get them performing or playing or doing music in some way so they can get, kind of get that experience of what it's like. And, um, just playing with people, playing music with people is a really, it's a really beautiful way to kind of get, get together with people and communicate, um, you know, non-verbally. Just to have that experience as a young person is, is really, I, I think, important. This is John Hollenbeck. For more interviews, go to jazztimes.com.